if your beats don't have punch and they are lacking that modern clipping sound, you are doomed because your beats will be sounding flat. But don't worry, in this video we'll be fixing just that. And before we start, make sure to cop the Obsidian Vault Multi Kit. It is 50% off for the week. Offer ends Friday, 26th of July, so you don't want to miss out. Use this code right here on checkout to get it 50% off. Without wasting more of your time, let's hash screen to it. Let's go. So yeah, this is what we're working with. As you can hear, this beat is not bad, it's not terrible, it's just flat, which I assume yours are flat, you get me? Cool, let's fix this one. First things first with the 808, when you want those punchy sounds, you want your 808 to be punchy, right? Listen to this one. It's long. So if you can boost it as long as it is, it can bleed. Okay, cool. If we don't want our airway bleeding to other sections, we don't want it to bleed on, you get me? So yeah, to prevent that, we use the out knob. I'll make it out like that. As you can hear, now it's punchy. Before, now, this is what we want. Now you can boost it with a boost knob or with the EQ knob, you get me? So let's go with the EQ knob on a pre-computed effects, you get me? I almost forgot the step. Make sure that on your master you have a soft clipper, then you have an EQ. Uh, on this EQ, I just boost the, the highs and some of the lows a bit, like 0 0.5, 0 0.5 decibel. We don't wanna mess with the low that much because we're already boosting our 808 that much you get me before the soft clip with the soft clip cool now this is our beat right now as you can hear now there's punch and it makes your face go stain you get me that's what we want from from artists or from other producers reaction with this one we're already getting that but to take this a step further you can add some variation as you can hear my melody has a high section and a low section with the low section our 808 is low so in this case it does not but it can cause some muddiness you get me to prevent that you can pitch the 808 up an octave you get me it gives it that boom that grit that punch now this adds some variation as well that when it's high we're expecting that low head you get me on that low head you can add something to give it more punch because as it stands it may not be audible in like mobile speakers and stuff so to have our 808 audible in phones and low-end speakers we have to add that high-end energy in most cases an open head is used you get me so yeah as you can see, I use the out knob as well to, to make it punchy. You can even use the multiplicator knob. This is before. This is with the open head. On this high 808, I won't add it because I want it to transition and make the second section feel like a drop in a way. I hope y'all understand me. Now, as you can hear, we got that punch. Now we have to put it in a test on how loud can it be without sounding bad. Let's go to the master, add our footy balance. This is too much, let's dial it down a bit. 